हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द डिस्कशन ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज एंड टूडेज टॉपिक आई हैव टेकन इज द न्यू नीटल रिसेसिटेशन सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स बिकॉज न्यू नीटल रिसेसिटेशन यू नो इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी एग्जाम विच इज बींग आस्ट फॉर सो हैव टेकन सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड वी लाइक टू डिस्कस दो क्वेश्चन हीयर द न्यू बॉर्न इज बींग रिसेसिटेटेड टर्म चाइल्ड हैज हार्ट रेट ऑफ फिफ्टी बीट्स पर मिनट आफ्टर थर्टी सेकेंड्स ऑफ वेंटिलेशन through an endotracheal tube and an additional on an additional 60 seconds of coordinated chest compression and ventilation what it means is child has already been given chest compression and after the chest compression still the heart rate is 50 beats per minute that means if you go to the steps of neonatal resuscitation the next thing you will like to give for is the epinephrine right next thing you like to give for is the epinephrine and you all know particularly epinephrine can be given by three routes it can be given by the intravenous route it can be given by the intraosseous route or it can be given by the intratracheal route is right and first of all the route we prefer is the intravenous route and the question mark here is this intravenous is given through a peripheral vein it is not given through a peripheral vein so neither it is given through a peripheral in the baby's right hand or in the baby's left hand you want that epinephrine to reach into the central circulation as quickly as possible so that's why what you choose is basically a umbilical vein that is through this you are giving this right because it will directly reach there if you give through a peripheral vein there is one risk of extravasation also that this important drug at this time might not reach in the adequate dose in the central circulation so you always choose through an umbilical venous catheter and if you look particularly here this is the umbilical vein and through this umbilical vein you will like to give the drug then you should also know what is the correct position right this is the correct position you are inserting the catheter only up to this point this is the incorrect you are not reaching up to the liver in the later courses this can lead to portal hypertension also then what you need to remember here is the dilution and the dilution of epinephrine you are using is 1 is to 10000 this is the dilution you are using and when you are giving by intravenous or intraosseous route intravenous or intraosseous route this is followed by this is followed by flush with 3 ml of normal saline flush with 3 ml of the normal saline irrespective of birth weight or gestational age irrespective of birth weight or the gestational age and you always need to remember epinephrine is not given by intra arterial route it can be given by intravenous route can be given by intra osseous route and it can be given by the intra tracheal route but it is not given by the intra arterial route moving on to the next question term child is being given coordinated chest compression and ventilation using 100% oxygen the heart rate is not improving after 30 seconds of compression which of the following should be checked for that means the child is being given chest compression and one thing which you need to remember is when you are giving the chest compression you change the oxygen concentration to 100% you change the oxygen concentration to 100% now what you should look for is you are giving chest compression still this particularly heart rate is not improving so i should look whether when we are giving the breath is the chest moving or not that means whether the particularly air is being pumped into or not then you need to remember you are giving three compressions coordinated with one ventilation and they are delivered every 2 second you all remember that ratio of chest compression to positive pressure ventilation is 3 is to 
बट दिस थ्री इज टू वन हैज टू बी डिलीवर्ड एवरी टू सेकेंड्स राइट इट इज डिलीवर्ड एवरी टू सेकेंड्स वन ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एम सी क्यूज ऑल दैट हैज नेवर बीन आस्ट फॉर बट दिस कैन इज वन ऑफ द फ्यूचर पोटेंशियल एम सी क्यूज हियर डेथ ऑफ द कंप्रेशन इज वन थर्ड ऑफ द ए पी डायमीटर दैट इज एंटीरो पोस्टियर डायमीटर सो वेन यू आर कंप्रेसिंग इज देयर शुड बी कंप्रेशन ऑफ वन थर्ड ऑफ द एंटीरो पोस्टीरियर डायमीटर इज राइट सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच यू नीड टू रिमेंबर हियर इज कॉर्डिनेटेड कंप्रेशन एंड वेंटिलेशन दैट इज थ्री कंप्रेशन एंड वन वेंटिलेशन आर गिवन एवरी टू सेकेंड्स दे आर गिवन एवरी टू सेकेंड्स प्लस Initially, you are using is hundred percent oxygen. You are compressing is the anterior posterior diameter by one third. Chest compressions are applied on the lower one third of sternum. They are applied over lower one third of the sternum. so these are all the points which you need to particularly remember during the chest compressions next question says mother received opiate medication for pain relief 1 hour before delivery right it is something analgesic in the mother was given a opiate after birth the baby does not have spontaneous respiration and does not improve with stimulation so child is having no spontaneous respiration that means they are saying so called child is having apnea the most appropriate next step is you have already done the tactile stimulation child is not responding to tactile stimulation right so what we are supposed to give here is now if you go to the basically steps of neonatal resuscitation if there is apnea that is one thing if the heart rate is less than 100 per minute then 100 per minute or the child is gasping this three things apnea is there heart rate is less than 100 per minute the child is gasping you go for the positive pressure ventilation and if there is labored breathing labored breathing you go for the cpap is cpap that is continuous positive airway pressure so if you see here the child does not have this spontaneous respiration so therefore this child is not having the respiration there is apnea and for the apnea what i need to give is start positive pressure ventilation right now start cpap because cpap there should be some respiratory efforts being present administer the opiate antagonist naloxone naloxone has not been found to be beneficial so you need to start here is the positive pressure ventilation then when you start particularly the positive pressure ventilation you need to at least remember what should be the initial concentration of oxygen the initial concentration of oxygen it should be if the child is more than 35 weeks room air and if the child is less than 35 weeks it is 21 to 30% oxygen 21 to 30% oxygen right so this is what we say here is to be done here so you need to remember the steps apnea heart rate less than 100 child is gasping you should go to the positive pressure ventilation and also do remember what should be the initial concentration of oxygen if the child is more than 35 weeks room air less than 35 weeks you start with 21 to 30% oxygen moving on to the next one an intubated term newborn with respiratory distress suddenly becomes blue or you can say uh, there was a child already the intubation was done and you are giving the ventilation and he suddenly becomes blue that means the child suddenly becomes cyanosed child suddenly becomes cyanosed what can be the possible causes for this condition and the possible causes here you remember particularly by the do where d stands for the displaced endotracheal tube displaced endotracheal tube o stands for the obstructed endotracheal tube p stands particularly for the pneumothorax and e stands for the 
इक्विपमेंट फेलियर इक्विपमेंट फेलियर राइट सो चाइल्ड इज देयर ही वॉज ऑलरेडी बींग वेंटिलेटेड सडनली बिकम साइनोज यू शुड फर्स्ट रोल आउट दिस हैज माई द एंडोटेकल ट्यूब डिसप्लीज हैज द एंडोटेकल ट्यूब बीन ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड इज दस द चाइल्ड हैज डेवलप नीमोथॉरिक्स और इज देर इज सम इक्विपमेंट फेलियर राइट सो द आंसर हियर लाइज इन थ्रिथ कंडीशन इज any of the above out of this three conditions anything can be seen in this child now here is baby has received positive pressure ventilation after birth child improved and after some time child developed respiratory distress on examination there is decreased breath sounds on one side of the chest out of the following most likely there is suspicion of right now idly thinking you can think this might all be the causes in congenital diaphragmatic hernia if you see there is association with pulmonary hypoplasia and second thing it is more common on the left side this so there should be decrease particularly there should be decrease in the breath sounds but positive pressure ventilation means bag and mask ventilation and that is contraindicated in congenital diaphragmatic hernia right and we say the child improved on positive pressure ventilation diaphragmatic hernia cannot improve so this is not this condition is right if it is there they are congenital heart defect or neonatal sepsis nothing is being given other than this there is only respiratory distress nothing is pointing towards an abnormal heart sound or some murmur is there in neonatal sepsis no risk factor is being given whether the mother they had a rupture of membranes for more than for 24 hours so called or the child is not accepting feeds nothing is being given but the child was being given only positive pressure ventilation and pneumothorax can develop due to the positive pressure ventilation so here basically our answer most probability out of this is the pneumothorax right and for the pneumothorax if there is there the aspiration has to be done so aspiration is either done from the fourth intercostal space at the anterior axillary line or the second intercostal space at the mid clavicular line yes. so at least you should remember if you are particularly going for the pneumothorax where you should go for you should go at the fourth intercostal space at the anterior axillary line or the second intercostal space at the mid clavicular line is yes. right so the most likely answer here is the pneumothorax so i have tried to discuss some of the case scenarios which can particularly get in the neonatal resuscitation right you all basically know the steps of the resuscitation do watch the other videos on this channel do subscribe to this channel and i guarantee you we will be giving some new content regarding the pediatrics part so that this always becomes solving the mcqs becomes easy for you thanks